All right, well, the question is, can you put water in your radiator? So we're going to talk about water, distilled water, purified water, and coolant for your engine. And what you can do on a normal basis and what you can do on uh, a temporary basis. So a lot of people think that they can just run water in the radiator, tap water in the radiator for the long term, and it'll be fine. Uh, there's some issues with that, guys. Uh, so I'm going to explain this to you. All makes and models, uh, there's every engine needs different types of coolant. Um, so you should get the proper one for your engine. Find out what it is. In a pinch, there's always the universal one. I don't know the problems and benefits with that, but I always recommend using what the factory requires for that car. That's the best thing to use. All right, so let's say you broke down on the side of the road and you blew a hose, you fixed it, you got to drive to town. So can you put tap water in your radiator? And the answer is yes, you can do that temporarily. You can put tap water in your radiator. It'll get you off the road. It'll get you to wherever you're going. But if you continue to use tap water in your radiator, here's going to be some of the problems. Again, I was an ASE master auto technician in the 90s. I've retired from that. So I have a little bit of experience with this. And everything in this video is not advice. It's just the way that I do it. Of course, you can do it the way I do it or not. And if it doesn't work out for you, then there's no liability for you, for me. So, of course, do it at your own risk. So, tap water in your radiator. What is that going to do? With tap water, there is alkali deposits that are in water. And... Back in the old days, in the 60s and stuff like that, early 70s and 80s, a lot of us would use tap water in our radiator. And what would happen over time is tap water in the radiator would start to build up um, residue. We would use it with coolant. So you use 50-50 coolant and, and water. And we use tap water in the radiator. And so what would happen is inside your radiator in here there would be deposits alkali and hard water deposits would get around your rod, rod your radiator core and would restrict the flow of water over time so what guys figured out is that if you use distilled water in your radiator with your coolant that wouldn't happen and corrosion was minimized by putting the distilled water in your radiator. So guys, a lot of guys I knew were like, don't ever put any tap water in my radiator. And I'd look at their radiators because they used to have the old radiator cap where it came off. And you could see the cores and they were perfectly clean. So now I realized that that was a great idea. And I incorporated it back in the late 70s, early 80s. And now car manufacturers are onto this. And that's why one of the reasons why engines are lasting 200,000 miles, 300,000 miles, 400,000 miles. You know, it depends on the make, model, and how it was engineered from the factory. That's one of the reasons. The other reasons are oils that we use now are much better. And the way that they're put together in the engineering, some of that's better. There's a lot of reasons why computer controls actually help engine management systems run more efficiently and they, of course, don't wear as much. I know a lot of us like these old analog cars, but they were not nearly as well engineered as the newer ones. Uh, this depends on which make and model. Some of them are very bad. Some of them are really good. Just depends. Okay. What will happen if you run tap water in your radiator for very long? Your water pump needs coolant 
to lubricate it properly. So if you run it temporarily, a few miles, maybe 100 miles or something like that to get where you're going, that's probably okay. But over time, that water pump is not getting its proper lubrication. It requires coolant to be in there. 50-50 coolant. We'll talk about why you need to have 50-50 coolant and not 100% too. So things that are going to happen over time, if you have tap water in your radiator, you're going to build up alkali deposits. Those alkali deposits can be in orifices inside your engine, inside your radiator. It's also going to corrode faster on things because of those alkalis, and it'll start to mess with your water pump very quickly. It can happen in literally um, in a few days, okay, if you're running it for any amount of time. Uh, if your engine, especially when your engine's used to having coolant in it, or maybe it's on the edge where your water pump was, has already got 80,000 miles on it, I always recommend replacing the water pumps at a little less than 100,000, especially with if you're running distilled water and, and coolant mixed. Um, around 100,000 miles usually, I'd replace the water pump on a maintenance, maintenance level. That, that eliminates a lot of your breakdowns on the road so can you run tap water in your radar sure you can but it should be used temporarily it should be used just to get you to wherever you can change it and put coolant in it okay the other thing is is can you run tap water with your coolant and the answer is yes in some cars most cars don't recommend it Okay, but I never do anymore. And it's because even with the coolant 50-50 mixed with tap water, those alkali deposits are going to end up in your radiator and um, it'll start to plug up your radiator over time. And that's why a lot of guys will say, hey, I run without a thermostat, you know, because I overheat all the time. Well, you got probably have alkali deposits in your radiator and the radiator needs to be replaced and you're just masking it by taking the thermostat out and really you need to fix the problem which is the radiator is probably plugged okay so personally i either run 50 50 coolant and you can buy the 50 50 that's already in the gallons those are made i believe with uh distilled water okay or you can run the regular coolant 50 50 mixed with distilled water or i found also purified water is very very similar purified reverse osmosis purified water has most of the alkalis and all that removed from it and it works pretty well so in my cars i've been doing that for over 10 years and i don't have issues with any alkali deposits inside of them inside my engines so for instance let's say you're on the road and you bought some coolant and you needed to flush take out the water because you had a broken hose or whatever and you put new coolant in and you needed to add water what i've done personally is i've gotten you know i've been at like a store where they had reverse osmosis purified water not just filtered water, reverse osmosis purified um, has gone through a lot of filters and a lot of different things, and it's very, very clean. It has very little microns of anything in it. So I've used that, and that's worked out really well for me. Now on their VWs and German cars, on this one here particularly, requires G12, G12 coolant. I will only put G12 in it. And the reason for those things are because the seals inside the engine and inside the water pump are designed for that specific coolant. So in your Volkswagens, use the factory recommended coolant. And the coolant must be mixed 50-50 
as it says, if you run 100% coolant in your engine, a lot of guys think, well, if I run 100% coolant, it's better. Um, no, coolant by itself without the water added does not dissipate the heat properly. Your engine's going to run hotter. Um, it has difficulty flowing through the engine in areas. It's a little bit thicker. Um, it, it will cause your engine to run hot. Regular coolant has difficulty dissipating the heat from the engine, absorbing the heat from the engine. What the coolant does, absorbs the heat from the engine, transfers it to the radiator where the radiator can dissipate the heat. That's what engine coolant does. So it's a vehicle to get the heat from the engine to the radiator. So if you don't use that proper vehicle, it's not going to work properly. It has to have 50% water added to it for it to cool properly. Coolant by itself, like I said, it won't absorb the heat from the engine properly and it won't release it properly to the atmosphere if you run it 100%. Guys have tested this stuff. Shouldn't be done that way, guys. If you're running 100% coolant, please do your engine a favor. Put 50% in. It's very important. It has to be mixed properly. So that's why they have 50-50 at the stores. If it says 50-50 on it, that means it's 50% coolant, 50% distilled water, and that's what your car needs. So again, you can do it temporarily, but please, over the long haul, if you want your engine to last, use the proper coolant that goes in it. Like in that truck, I use the Universal some of the General Motors and Fords and stuff like that, it depends on the car, we will take the universal coolant it, you know, that says all makes all models. There's the old stuff, the old Prestone and stuff like that that said, you know, it was just whatever, glycol or whatever. <laughs> you should have the one, if it says Dex Cool, that's a specific coolant. You can use that. That's the one that's required for some of the General Motors models. It's best to stay with those. Um, then if you have a Volkswagen, you can use the proper one like G12 or they have a G10. I think there's a bunch of different ones, but they're all specifically engineered for that engine and make sure that you get the proper one. It will help the length, the, the life of your car. It will make it last longer. So, um, if you're have an older car and you don't really care too much, then Possibly you could use the universal coolant on it and it will probably work fine But again, like I said, if you have a newer car something you're trying to keep for a long period of time It's better if you stick with the uh, The factory recommended one. So anyway, that's a little bit about coolant. Uh, I know people Are on the road or something like that and they wonder hey, can I put tap water in this and how long can I do it for? Please don't do it very long because it will be bad for your water pump. It'll be bad. It'll start to get deposits in your engine very quickly um, and get that water out of there as soon as you can and get 50-50 coolant in it. All right, I'll talk to you on the next video. Please like, share, and subscribe.